Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Elsla and I love making art. Today I'm going to talk about watercolor and how to practice watercolor, how to improve your skills and basically how to paint. I'm going to show you a few techniques and give you some ideas to practice at home. In my previous video I showed you what to buy, what to have to practice. So please go check out this video if you haven't already to have the tools you need to practice. So, I've started painting with watercolor because I think it's the easiest way to start. So, um, you just need a few things, a few brushes, paint, as I said in my previous video, a paint palette is great for that, and also a little bit of water. So, water is very important when you paint, especially if you paint with watercolor or gouache or acrylics. I'm going to talk more about gouache and acrylics in other videos but I think it's great to start with watercolor because it's the paint that needs most water so it will help you understand how the paint and the water works together and you can also very easily learn how to apply paint and what to do and what to avoid and that can be used for other type of paint. If you want to paint with brushes, the first thing is to know how to use your brushes. So I think the best first exercise is to just take a little bit of paint and a little bit of water and to apply paint with your different brushes. And try to use your brushes in many ways, as much as many ways as you can imagine and you can try to really understand how the paint and the brush work together and how you can control your paint and apply your paint so that will be very helpful when you will want to paint something really precise or paint something really loose you need to understand how you put the paint on the paper depending on the quantity of water you use you will see that the paint flows a little bit differently and the colors appear a little bit different so that's something to understand and to know and I think the better way to understand that is to see it on the paper you'll see that if you use less water you'll see that your paint will be a little bit darker and when you add water you get something a little bit more transparent and a little bit lighter that's something very important to know about watercolor it's a little bit different for gouache and acrylics because they are a little bit more opaque so you can use the opacity to do different things but what is really really important with watercolor is to use the transparency and use the white of the paper because when you apply the paint on the paper, you'll see that the white shows a little bit underneath and so you have a very vibrant color. Then when you add more paint and you add more layers, you'll see that it becomes a little bit darker and less vibrant. So it depends on what you want to do, but that's something very important to understand and to know. Transparency and layers. You can also see that the paint diffuses when there is water. So if you're working on dry paper, you'll see that you can be very precise. So maybe try to do different type of shapes that will help you understand what you're doing. You'll see that the paint will be very precisely applied. If you use a little bit of water before, so if you wet your paper or if you apply a paint on another paint, something that you just applied before, you'll see that the colors will mix and the color will diffuse. So that's something to know because you can use paint on dry or wet paper and you can also apply paint on something that you just paint that is still wet or you can wet that it dries before you apply something else on it. Your paper and your paint will react differently and also know that watercolor is always reactivable I don't know if I can say that but <laughs> you can always apply water and get paint in a way so that's also why you have palettes because every time you add water you get on your brush a little bit of paint so that's different for acrylics 
um, but it's the same for gouache. So that's something to, to experiment with, to know if you like that or not. You also see that watercolor, for me it's not the quickest to dry, so the time you, wait, you need to wait before apply another layer can be also something to know if you want something that dries quickly or something that takes longer to, to dry. Watercolor takes not a lot of time but takes more time than maybe gouache or acrylics. The more you use water, the more you will have to wait before it dries. I like when my pen dries quickly so that's also why I like gouache a little bit better than watercolor and sometimes even acrylics or acrylic gouache. If you have never painted before, it's nice to try and experiment on different subjects. So try maybe paint landscape, paint flowers, paint skies, paint faces, paint bodies, paint whatever comes into your mind. You can also paint very abstract, in a very abstract way too. So that's something really interesting to do with watercolor so feel free to experiment to see what you like and to keep doing what you like in the future to finish I just want to talk a little bit more about colors I like to use my fairy colors in watercolor I like to use blues, reds, purple it's interesting to know the color theory there, there are more information about that now so also I will also put you a link in the description box if you want to know more about that. But basically, cyan, magenta and yellow are the real primary colors. And then in secondary colors, you have red, blue and green. And then you can create all the colors you would like with these colors. I have my favorite colors and if you want, you can just buy your favorite colors. You don't need to use all the colors that exist. And you can create what you want, what you like to see, what you like to experiment with. So yeah, feel free to do whatever you want. It's really up to you. You'll see that some things, some results will look a little bit better to you. And that's really the most important part is that you need to like what you paint. But really feel free to be creative and to experiment and try things that are not usual, like that you can't maybe see every day. So that's the beauty of painting and drawings, that you can create what you want to see in real life. So I hope you like this video. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have any ideas for the next videos or any questions I would like to answer you and I hope to see you soon in my new video. Bye!